is a hugely significant development. It's the first time in American history that a former president has been indicted on federal charges, and it comes shortly on the heels of the first time in American history that a former president had been indicted on state charges. Uh, the, the walls around former President Trump are closing in from a legal perspective. This is, these are very serious charges. <laughs> seven years that they can't stop because it's election interference at the highest level. There's never been anything like what's happened. I'm an innocent man. I'm an innocent person. to me because now we're leading in the polls again by a lot against Biden and against the Republicans by a lot but we're leading against Biden by a lot a tremendous amount and we went up to a level that they figure the way they're going to stop us is by using what's called warfare and that's what it is this is warfare for the law and we can't let it happen we can't let it happen <laughs> Because you notice, I have never once, not one single time, suggested to the Justice Department what they should do or not do relative to bringing a charge or not bringing a charge. I'm honest. <laughs> January 2021, as Donald Trump was leaving the White House, boxes of thousands of government records, including what we now know to be hundreds of classified documents, were packed in boxes and taken to Donald Trump's Florida home, Mar-a-Lago. And it became clear to the National Archives and Records Administration that it was missing a variety of documents that it believed it was entitled to have back because they were government records. And that began a months long negotiation process by the government to obtain the documents. The investigation really takes a very dramatic turn in January of 2022, when the National Archives receives from Mar-a-Lago 15 boxes of records. And when it opens those records, it discovers more than 100 bearing classified markings. <laughs> for president? No. Um, he is, we live in a country where in the United States, rightly or wrongly, a convicted felon, even if he's convicted, can be elected president. He could even in theory serve as president while incarcerated. <laughs>